My name is Bob Given Camilo. I've got TB and I'm HIV positive. How many people want to live a long life? Can someone tell me what is AIDS? It was very weak. I couldn't even walk for 500 meters. He was literally dying. And he was dying not because he didn't have medicine, but because he didn't have food. So I started feeding him. Actually, I'm given Bob Camilo. I'm 34 years by age, and I'm HIV positive. I got AIDS through sexual intercourse. So here, as you can see me, I'm on ARV's drugs. They cannot cure you with the drugs. They are able just to prolong my life. A couple months ago, Catherine, the person that helps me, told me that I should look at a man called Bobo. Yeah, I was sick. And that's when Carrie came and started helping me. There are certain times that some of you could see me when I was very slim. It's difficult for people in the West to understand what it's like to be hungry. You might miss a meal and be hungry and have the understanding of the sensation of being hungry. But being hungry and knowing that tomorrow there is no food for you to eat is a very different state. I was lacking food, but I had someone who came in and helped me with food and everything. He was a bit depressed, so I thought, wouldn't it be good to bring him back to something that would be useful in society? And he was a teacher by trade, so I said, would you like to teach? And he said, he has another strength. I said, but would you like to teach when you feel better? And he said, that would be a good thing. So I said, well, I will bring you food, protein food, to keep you strong and to get your body to re reconstitute itself, and then you can teach. Now, these students, haven't been permitted into the regular school because either there's no space or they don't have money for uniforms or they're orphans. So he's picking up stray children in the area and so he's teaching them. It's quite exciting. In Zambia, there are very few people who are educated and not, if you're not educated, I know you'll be doing work like digging and so whatever. The intention is to take them to a better schools where they could be responsible people. I think it's very important to use people's money wisely. The whiteboard is like $60 here. Well, I took a piece of cardboard, and I bought a piece of plastic, and I put paper, and I made a whiteboard. And it doesn't look very good, but it's functional. And when Bobo saw it, he said, this is a fantastic thing. Yeah, this is the plastic, and then I plain papers inside, yeah, and markers, and they're very easy to rub. People were very moved by your school. They like what you're doing. What kinds of things do you need? You need a roof? Uh-huh. Then you the desks, then, you know, as the, most of the, the children, they cannot buy books on their own. So someone to provide books and pencils for them and rubbers. And if they are willing, you can buy a uniform so that, you know, they will look representable. I was against originally uniforms for students because it's keeping them out of school. And I think it's a waste of money, except when you put a child in a uniform, they feel like a person and they can walk in a community and feel like they have something special to, to offer the community. For them, it's like a diploma. It's a certificate saying that I'm okay, I'm in school, I'm smart. And for them, that's important. <laughs> the sickness of my face has gone away. I'm looking at least much better now. And I had friends from Kawe who came in and said, ha, ah, you have really changed. I said, yeah, thank you very much. There's someone who is helping me. Now, another problem that you have here is that people who have it, people treat them badly. It's called discrimination. Bobo was. is very brave because he told you about him. And he did that to share so that you can be protected, so you can take care of yourself. So I want to thank Bobo for being honest with you and looking after your own health. And if he can help save your lives, that's a very good mission in life. Uh -oh.